yes, GoPro. Maybe it's a GoPro. <laughs> yes. Yes, I hope they can see us. I hope it's like better quality. Uh, but yes, you're looking at him. The happiest man on the planet. Living the most pleasurable life possible. Oh, my gosh. Because that's what life's all about. We live to please us. Please ourselves. Yes. Oh, my gosh. You know, the only way to get here is all the C's. Courage. Commitment. Consistency. Confidence. Congenial people. And then you get control. Now, how do you do that? How do you do that? How do you do that? How the heck do you do that? Now, how do you do that? How do you do that? How do I do that? Okay. Well, first, it's courage. Without courage, there's, you can't do anything. You know, without the willingness to jump, without the the execution, the actual doing, it's there's nothing. Without courage, you can't do anything. Now, after you find courage, and then you're like, how do you even find courage? Find someone. Find someone who is already happy. Find someone who is already doing something that you would want to do. And start following what he's doing. What do you think, babe? Uh-huh. And then what? And then? And then? Commit to something. No one's like, what? Commit to something? Well, I don't even know. Well, where do you even start? Start by making your bed. You can actually start by making your bed every single day. Commit to that. Treat it like you can't live without it. Like you gotta like, like if you don't make your bed, it's like not eating or not drinking water. Like let it be a part of you every single day. Make your bed, start with that. Have the courage to actually make your bed every day. And then be consistent. Be very, very consistent. Don't just do it for like three days or a week or two weeks. For three weeks, do it all the time. Let you, let people know that you make your bed. Like that's how often you want to do it, all the time. And then what happens with all of those? After you get the courage, the commitment, the consistency, you get confidence. Confidence. That's what we need. You know, you get confidence. You get confidence to be more courageous, to be more committed, to be more consistent. Like training, like for for my you know training the the thing that I love doing, and I thank God I get to do what I love every single day. Especially being with this woman. Um, like for training, you get to a point where you're so confident in your skill and you're so confident in your abilities to help people and change lives that you can't help but only want to be around congenial people. This is when it's okay to say no. Like, I will never take on a client if I feel like we're not going to get along. And I get along with a lot of people, but there's people you get along with and people who are motivated to change their lives, to make, to get fit, to get better, to get well. And if you're not motivated, if I sense you're not really motivated, well, I'm going to say no. I don't care how much you want to pay me. I'm not going to take you. I don't have time for this. You know why? Because if I'm outputting all my energy into this person, trying to please this person, trying to like cater to this person to the degree where it's causing stress and anxiety, well then I'm not going to have 100% for my next person. I won't be able to pour on. It's just going to be that much harder. So that's when you just got to say no. That's right. Yeah. And then when you do that enough times, you surround yourself with people who share the same values as you and has all the same interests and likes and just uplift you and like people you admire, people who inspire you, then you get control. Then you get all of this. And you know the best way to be able to have the courage to commit to something, to be consistent, to make confidence, build your self-esteem, only be around congenial people, you gotta be fit. Like, everything is just so much easier if you look good, feel good. I mean, I work so hard for this. Like, when I wake up and I'm in the bathroom, like, naked, looking at myself in the mirror, I'm just like, wow. 
Like, how the heck do I, do I really look like this? Did I get here? Like, how did this happen? Wow. But I love this. Good job, Peter. Pat myself in the back. Like, it's, um, it's like the most amazing thing. Like, how can you get upset at anything when you're sitting there right before taking a shower, butt-ass naked, and then you see yourself, and you look so good? <laughs> you feel so good. Like, that type of confidence, oh my gosh, will help you be confident in everything else. I mean, my wife, look at her. Like, I've never seen her so happy. It's because she looks the best. When you look your best, you feel your best. That's why people wear suits and they get all dressed up and all made up and nails done, hair is done. Because they want to feel the best. Because when you look the best, you feel the best. Motion before emotion, baby. Yes. Yes. Oh. You know, I, and I just really want to just help everybody achieve this. You know, I try my best. I, I give everybody the ultimate experience. If you've trained with me, you know. Like, I pour on. I come, I'm here to play. Like, we're here to do this. You know? Like, I want to get results for you. Because that's all I do. All I do is deliver results. I'm very motivated by results. And the only way to get results is if everybody's on the same page. You gotta work well together. That's the only way. You can't get results. You can't make progress if there's two people not agreeing into something. It just doesn't work out. Everybody's got to be on the same page. You got to be able to communicate. Okay. It's communication so important. Oh my gosh! Look at my marriage. You know, like <clears throat> if it wasn't for my wife, I would have never been this happy. Never. You know, because of my wife, because of how she makes me feel, and all the stuff that she just puts up with and just gives me all the time and just loves me. It helps me love myself. Not only do you want to look your best to feel your best, but you got to really love yourself in order to love. That's why I love my wife so much, because I love myself so much. I am so in love with myself. And yes, I am saying this. I am so in love with myself, with my beautiful wife in front of me. I've been telling people I'm more in love with myself than my wife. <laughs> because by doing so, I can love her so much more. The more I love myself, the more I'm comfortable with myself, the more I don't care about what other people think and I just love myself, the more I can love, the more I can give, the more life I can give. Like the thing I always say, there's, two, there's only two types of people and everything you say or do, you either give life or you take it away. <clears throat> That's it. You're either a giver or you're a taker. You either live or you die. You're either fit or you're not. I love you. There's only two choices. There's no alternative. So my life is so easy. I just look at the white and the black. Yes or the no. There's no middle area. You're either rich or you're poor. What is middle class? Middle class, I feel like it's dead class. It's like you're stuck. It's like you don't know what you want to do. <laughs> and those are the ones that are so miserable. And I don't want them to be miserable. I want everybody to experience the joy and happiness I feel every day because I get to do what I love every single day. And I've worked my way up to this. And I'm still going every single day. And the social media thing is so amazing, like YouTube, Instagram. Like, please, if you guys want to see it done live every single day, you want to know what it feels like to be happy all the time, to live your best all the time, to pour on every day, to look the best, feel the best, have the most beautiful wife, beautiful life, Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to this. My Instagram is at bodybyquan, B-O-D-Y-B-Y-K-W-O-N, baby. My last name. Yes. But please, just tag a friend, do something, share it. Like, I just want everybody to know. Like, I'm here. Yes, we're here. And don't be, don't be scared to reach out. And thank you for everybody that's already reached out to me. And like, please continue. I would love that if people would just reach out. If you guys ever want to hang out, let's hang out. You want to work out, let's work out. You want to talk, let's talk. Like, that's what life's about. Experiences and creating memories with 
the people that you want to see with this limited time that we have. Like, I'm done being just never feeling this good. Like, I want to feel this good more than I want to not feel this good. Because I felt this good for so long. Oh, yeah, so please, thank you.